Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another episode of Talking About the Five Stages of Grief. Now, again, before we get started, I'm well aware that it ha the Kubler-Ross model has been talked about on here before, uh, but that was kind of just a vague version of this. So, today we're going to be talking about the second stage, anger, which, quite frankly, surprisingly is... It's another one of those circumstances where you see it more often than you would think. I don't... If I were to take... A lot of this is kind of just guesstimating or just claiming things based off what I've seen. So it doesn't make it entirely true what I'm about to say. So take everything I'm going to say with a grain of salt. Um, with anger, from what I've noticed, a lot of people have a tendency to jump to that one. A lot of people mix anger, and, or they will mix anger and denial into kind of one stage, which is not exactly uncommon, but, you know, if you're going to go and order these and your brain sees two of the same, uh, two of the five stages at once, that's, you know, that, that that's kind of where things become very complicated. But why anger? Why do people specifically lash out or get angry over a loss? Because it's something out of their control. Well, not for, for those who do go through this stage, because bear in mind, not everyone does. Um, but for those who do go into this particular stage, it's usually because they're looking for something or someone to blame. Now, sometimes, under some fronts, this is the case, where there actually is somebody to blame for it. But for the most part, there's not a particular one individual to blame for circumstances like this, because it'll happen by natural cause, whether that natural cause is some kind of genetic illness or virus, or if it's just out of, you know, old age. This does cover a lot of different circumstances when it comes to, like, what can cause a, a pass away. Um, but for the circumstances that don't, like, that, that do have them, like, some people will get killed. Even if it's unintentional, it'll still put the blame on someone. For circumstances like that, well, there's someone to blame. But for the other men, large percent that I listed first, the anger kind of cores on those individuals searching for a reason. Even some for on those who actually do have a reason. Then they definitely have reason to be angry, but it wouldn't always be part of those five stages because they're sure they're grieving deep, deep, deep down, but they're angry at an individual for the fact that they actually did do something. This is not uncommon either. A good example of what I'm talking about currently is September 11th, 2001. I don't think I need to say much more. Uh, like to point out what I'm, what event I'm referring to for those who live in the U.S. or pay attention to international news um, but the amount of people that died there was l large to say the least and so many people got angry about the circumstances um, that even even those who didn't know the individuals who were in the Twin Towers when this happened there were still out, outward individuals who just kind of lashed and got angry either way. This is just kind of how that thing works. When there is someone to blame, that person usually gets anger like that for the death, especially when it's a bunch of people. But even for the death of one person, it's the same concept. But usually it's a much more minuscule amount of people when it's just like one individual. Um... Now this is when there actually is someone to blame. There is reason, and for the but for the ones that have no one to blame, they're gonna search. They're gonna look for somebody. They're gonna go 
this happened, but I don't want to accept the fact that it happened out of the middle of nowhere with no, no cause, no person to point blame at. I mean, like say, like one of the examples I gave earlier, a medical disorder or virus leading to the death of the individual. I guarantee that there are many people out there where the person dies in the hospital while trying to be taken care of because of this, but it happened too fast for a doctor to be able to finish the process to help the individual so the individual passes away. I guarantee you when something like this happens, those who go through this these five stages are going to blame the doctors or the hospital in a, as a whole. This is not abnormal, and this is kind of where this whole thing really starts to take place. Now, will it happen immediately really depends on the person. Sometimes people will jump to that point immediately and then get denial after, or the original order will happen where they'll be in denial of the fact that they lost someone and then get angry at said source. This is a very interesting stage, though, because it cores off of the amount of care that you would show and actually have for the person as well. Those who normally wouldn't get angry, it doesn't particularly mean they don't care. It's probably just a different order. Because as I said at the beginning of this series, not everyone, every individual person will take the five stages in a different order. Some people use anger at the very end of the five. Or some people do get angry first. It really depends on the person. However, one thing I can assure when it comes to those who go through all five of these stages, anger is definitely one of the ones that show one of the show, shows the biggest part of someone's heart the most. It's kind of a mix of denial and anger. Uh, those, the two that we've talked about so far that kind of showcase that. Now this, this statement that I just said is more personal opinion and personal experience than what I've seen um, in other individuals. It doesn't make it 100% true. It's just kind of what I've seen and what I've experienced kind of says that. I mean, you could have somebody else say that like the next three bargaining depression or acceptance you could say bargaining or depression could show that more it really it depends on the person like always all these stages always depend on the individual and what order if it happens anger just is i guess the one that i've seen the most maybe it's because of the type of people you spend i spend time around i honestly couldn't say or the type of people I met in the past, who I have spent time around in the past, I honestly couldn't, I couldn't answer that. But I definitely can say for sure that everything I've said in this video has always applied in the way that it was explained, one way or the other. Even if it were me, uh, if I were to lose Pink Fox to some kind of incident, some medical circumstance, some incident, and, or just by natural means over time. Once I lose her, I guarantee I will look for something or someone to blame first. After that, I'd probably go into denial. So I'm a little bit different on that front, but I have met many people who actually do take the normal order, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. But one way or the other... If you're anything like me, you're probably bound to get angry or at least lash at others. But who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe you'll cross somebody or you'll be the kind of person who doesn't hit this stage. Because not, as I said before, not everyone does. One way or the other, I'm going to leave this video here. Thanks for tuning into this episode of the uh, Five Stages of Grief, guys. If you liked it, or agreed with anything that I had to say, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for any kind of list of topics you'd like to discuss on here. Let us know in the comments below. If you'd like either Pink Fox or Aaron um, or any other future members of the channel, if you like their input on anything, just 
let us know. We could probably have them come up at some point. It also has to be consented by them, but still. Hmm. We'll figure it out as time goes on. But if you want to check out the rest of this playlist, click the link in the sentiment here. My head here. I can't speak. I'm going too fast. But check out this playlist if you want to check out the other four um, stages of grief. Or this side if you want to check out something that YouTube thinks you might like more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys, and we hope to see you all in another. See you guys later.